why this is the perfect time to read Demons by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Demons is considered one of Fyodor Dostoevsky's greatest works alongside Crime and Punishment and Brothers Karamazov. On top of that, it's about corruption, social unrest, and a growing conflict between younger and older generations. Sound familiar? As I was reading Demons, I couldn't help but reflect on today's tumultuous times. Of course, Russia in the 1870s, when this book was written, was in a much more precarious position than the United States today. They had just ended the practice of serfdom, they still had an absolute monarch, and they had wealth inequality that would make the United States today look like a socialist utopia. But that aside, the desire of a younger generation to drastically change the country they live in is something that reverberates through both the book and our society today. Now, Dostoevsky was a bit of a conservative, and so he viewed the changes in Russia as radical and harmful. However, Dostoevsky is unique in that he writes his villains easily as strong, if not stronger, than his protagonists. He prefers to Iron Man the ideas he is most against and then let his characters' actions demonstrate why they are wrong. In Demons, the hero, if there is such a character in this book, Stepan Trofimovich, is an out of touch old man who has been brushed aside by society. The young don't respect him, and even his peers are tired of listening to his meaningless rants. Yet the book itself is named after the epiphany he has. Stepan Trofimovich sees Russia as the sick man in Matthew 8 of the New Testament, a man possessed by demons. For Stepan Trofimovich, these demons are the new dangerous ideologies of the West. Among them are atheism, nihilism, and socialism. As his small town breaks into fires, murders, and unrest, he sees it as a purging of the demons. Just as Jesus cast them into swine, these ideas are running wild in Russia's youth and will continue to cause chaos until through their own heinous acts of violence, they manage to destroy themselves just as the pigs were sent galloping over a cliff. Of course, we know now that Russia was not able to purge completely and was itself swallowed by communism, which resulted in famine, gulags, and its ultimate collapse. But the future of the United States is still very much unknown. Will the United States reform itself for the better? Or will its own demons drive it into poverty, despair, and destruction? Time will only tell. But for insight into where we are now and where we are going, there are few works of literature more relevant than Demons by Fyodor Dostoevsky. I'm Jacob Andrew Emery, author of Inferno Dawn, The Final Name.